Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah, and today we will take a detailed look at Unity's basic UI features and tools. But first of all, what is UI all about? Well, it's most commonly used to create games main menus, to make buttons the player can interact with and click on, or some text to explain the game's rules or display credits. In many cases, it's also an extremely important part of the actual gameplay. For example, the health bar is UI, the inventory, the dialogue boxes above or below a character, or in a strategy game, the amount of resources you may have. All this is UI. With that said, let's learn how to create UI using Unity. By the end of the video, you'll have enough knowledge to easily use Unity's UI to make main menus and in-game elements such as health, resource displays, and more. We'll also see how to make sure your UI looks good on multiple screen resolutions, and how to actually change those resolutions directly in-game. Just before starting, I wanted to give a huge thanks to Pebble and Wisp for their amazing support on Patreon. It's just so appreciated and encouraging. With that said, let's get cracking. First things first, head over to Create and choose Canvas. You'll see that an event system pops up in the hierarchy. I hardly ever touch this. It's especially important though if you have UI that the player can interact with, such as buttons. So honestly, just leave it there. I can't tell you how horrible it was spending hours and hours wondering why my buttons weren't working, only to realize I had deleted the event system. Grabbing hold of my canvas, I'll now take a look at the canvas scaler component attached to it and change the UI scale modes to scale with screen size. For width and height, type out the same values as your game's current resolution, visible right here. So me, I have a resolution of 16 by 9, so I'll type 1600 for width and 900 for height. This is an important step. We'll make sure that my UI scales properly when I reduce or increase the size of my screen, something we'll take a look at further down the video. With all that done, I'll create my first UI element, some simple text. For me, the text looks tiny, so I'll increase its size in the text component. At some point the text may get cut out. Simply hit T on your keyboard or click on this icon to get this cool UI scaling tool that will allow you to increase or reduce the space occupied by your UI elements by simply left clicking on the edges and dragging. To scale uniformly, simply hold down shift as well. I'll change what the text displays right here, typing for example health. Awesome. Let's say I wanted this health display to be in the top left corner off my screen. You could simply move it with the translate tool, but your UI won't look right if you then change the resolution. With the 16 by 9 it looks good, but change it to 5x4 for example, and as you can see the health display is no longer at the top left corner of the screen. So instead you need to use this. Right clicking on it will open up this little anchor menu. You'll now need to hold down both shift and alt and then click on one of these nine squares. Each one will snap your text to a certain part of the screen. So I'll obviously choose the top left square and now my health text is nicely positioned once again. And changing screen sizes won't change the fact that it's still in the top left corner of the screen. Of course, you'll probably not want to squash like this. So now that you've done that, you can tweak its position right here or even just using the rect tool and things will still work fine as long as you've clicked on the right angle anchor menu button. The question is, how can I now change what this UI displays via code? For example, if my player takes damage, my health should go from 5 to 4 for example, and that change should be visible in the UI. So let me make a new c -sharp script called health display, drag and drop it onto my text UI element for example, and open it up. When playing around with Unity's UI via code, always make sure to add the using unityengine.ui namespace up here, or things won't work. Now I'll make an int variable called health and set it equal to 5, and a public variable of type text called health text. In my update function, I'll get this health text displaying the word health by typing health display.text is equal to health plus my health value. And if I hit the space key 
for example, Elridge's health of 1. This way the text will change directly in game. Heading back into Unity, I'll now drag and drop that text component inside of this empty health text slot in the inspector and hit play. And you'll see that indeed the health text correctly displays what I told it to via code. I can now hit space, health will be reduced of 1 and my text will clearly illustrate that turn of events. Note that if you didn't want the health word before the health value, you could do so by removing it, but you must also type after health to string. This will convert the int to a string and Unity won't throw you a nasty red error. You can of course change the color of the text, its alignment, as well as the actual font. Unity's basic UI only comes with this aerial font, which may very well not fit your game style. A great place to download cool fonts is the website Dafont. Google Fonts also has some very nice fonts. Once in your Unity project, you can then change the text font by clicking this little circle and choosing which fonts you want. I also very often add the shadow component to my text, which gives it that cool little drop shadow that looks, in my opinion, very neat. You can change the direction which the shadow is facing, as well as its color and opacity. You can, of course, also add images to your scene. Doing so will give you a bland white square, but if you have a sprite in your project folders, you can drag and drop it inside of this empty slot. Of course, chances are high your image looks a little squashed or stretched, so simply grab your Rex transform tool and scale things around until you're satisfied with the result. Or if you want to be pinpoint accurate, take a look at its dimensions here and then type out that width and height value right here. And again, you can change what the image displays or its color via code. Placing the image in the scene works the exact same as with text. Simply snap it to a certain corner of the screen and then move it around using the Rex Transform tool. Alright, another really important UI feature are buttons. You'll be using these for your game's main menu, pause menu, inventory and more. Just head over to UI and create a new button. Of course, this button looks very ugly. It's a lot better to create your own button graphics in Photoshop or GIMP for example. I've made this simple button rectangle that I'll drag and drop inside of this source image empty slot, and that bland white rectangle will disappear, replaced by that cool new graphic. You can also delete the text right here if you want. The main use of buttons are to call functions in your scripts when clicked on. So for example, I'll make an empty game object called Game Manager, add a new c -sharp script to it called Example Scripts, and open it up. Inside it, I'll make a public function called hello. Now, make sure your function is public, or you won't be able to call it from your button. Inside it, I'll simply do a debug.log stating hello. My name is Noah, and now I can head back into Unity and add to my button an on-click event. I'll now need to drag and drop my game manager inside of this empty slot, and I can now search for the function I wish to call as soon as my button is clicked on. So I'll look for the name of my script, example script, and then the name of my function, which is hello. And if I click on my button, you'll see that my function was indeed called. Again, play around with the placement of your UI button by snapping it to a corner of the screen, as well as the color tint when hovered over. For example, when my cursor is over it, I'll give it a yellow tint. You can also add animations to your buttons, which is pretty awesome. For a lot more info on that, check out this video I made a while back on how to make cool main menus. Of course, you don't usually use buttons to display on the console hello but more to transition between scenes or change a certain option. Like the screen resolution, for example, something that had been bugging me for quite a while until I realized how easy it really is. So first of all, I'll delete my test button and create a new text element I'll call res 16 by 9 I'll increase its size, change what it displays, and snap it to the center of my screen. I'll now add the button component to this UI text. Basically, I want it to, when clicked on, change my screen resolution to 1600 pixels wide and nine long. So I'll make a new c -sharp script called Resolution Manager and add to my game manager that newly made script and open it up. And here all I need to do is make two int variables, one called width, the other height. I'll then make a public function called set width that takes in an int variable that I'll call new width and I'll set width equal to new width. I can then do the same for height. And lastly I'll make another public function called set screen resolution. Here 
here all I need to type out is screen.set resolution and in the parentheses type out the width value of my new screen resolution so the width variable which contains that value same for height and finally whether or not I want my game to go full screen something I usually leave at false Back into Unity, I can now grab my rare 16x9 button and add an on-click event to it. I'll drag and drop my game manager right here and call the set width function. Here you'll see a field which I can use to type out my width value. In this case, I want this button to give me a screen 1600 pixels wide. I'll then add another on-click event calling the set height function. And here I'll type 900 pixels wide. And finally, I'll call the set screen resolution function, which will use those two values to actually change the screen res. And of course, I can make as many different screen resolution options as I want. Now note that these options won't work inside of Unity. You'll have to first build your game before being 100% sure everything is working nicely. And if you've done like me and properly followed along, then you'll end up with a cool scene with changing resolutions and UI that sticks firmly in place. And that marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and were able to follow along. UI is a huge topic, so I'll most probably be making many more tutorials on it in the future. In the meantime, if you have a video you would like me to make, post away in the comment section down below and I'll really consider your request. If you have some problem with your UI or code, also don't hesitate to ask for help in the comments or via the BTP Discord server. Okay, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, it would be awesome if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons. Supporting me financially like these top supporters via Patreon would also be amazing. Alright, stay tuned. Cheers!